What is up, friends? It's me, your boy, Eric, and welcome back to yet another 370Z video indoors because it's cold outside because, uh, you know, apparently it's winter here already in Southern Alberta. It's like negative 28. And if you're a new viewer here, I do 370Z content from time to time. The, the vehicle is on my driveway and, you know, photography and cinematography. So, welcome. You're here because you clicked a video, 10 things, 370Z, less than $100. I mean, damn, I would too. <laughs> let's cut to the chase and let's start our list with number one, the GTR pushes start button. Ah, the quintessential mod for 370Z owners. The legend says it adds 50 horsepower per decal on your car. I mean, for the price and the flavor it adds in your interior, I mean, you can't pass this, man. But if you're not a Nismo owner, you know, you can finish the look with this red surround uh, ring from the 370Z Nismo. But the, the problem is it's twice the price of the button itself. So, I mean, it's, it's just a ring for All right, number two, shift, root, and knob. Because if you're changing one, might as well change the rest. Uh, there's a plethora of shift knob manufacturers out there. Mine is actually from Z1 Motorsport. It's uh, a powder coated textured aluminum so that I have grip when I'm money shifting my Z because I don't know how to fucking drive. <laughs> but they have a lot of uh, shape options as well and also finishes. They have uh, polish and they just have like gloss black. And um, the only thing I hate about these ones is that it's light. So you can Google search weighted shift knobs for, you know, a better shifting feel. Weighted shift knobs is where it's at. Just letting you know. And I have Brid or Bright if you want to pronounce it like that. Shift boot. It's from Amazon, it's like $20. I know it's not authentic. I'm gonna leave links in the description below if you want to get some nice looking shift boots out there that, you know, that complements your color palette. You know, they have different colors, they have different uh, patterns. It's, it's, it's a good mod to add in your Z. Let's just say that. All right, so number three. Surprisingly, these are actually decently priced, you know? And I, everybody, Everybody has these. I'm just surprised that nobody actually made like a different design that is mass produced. I mean, I've made my own fourth brake light on this video. If you're interested in seeing how I butcher that, I mean, it's not bad, but it needs improvement. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, check it out later. Okay, please finish the list. That would be great. Please and thank you. And number four, you can replace these boring ass looking Z Fender emblems into something much cooler, like the one that flashes or strobes or sequ sequential light as a turn signal. I personally don't have it yet, but maybe eventually. Number five, I mean, how many Zs can you have in, on, in and on your Z? Honestly, you can just keep adding Zs around your Z, 370Z, oh my god. So with these ones from Evo R, you can replace your front and rear OEM Nissan emblems into Zs. I mean, if you're into that, I mean, I actually considered this way back when, but I was like, ah, let's just, let's just keep the OEM Nissan ones. And uh, number six, door handle covers. I mean, I personally took apart my door handles and painted them. If you're interested in seeing these videos, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. And number seven, if you have $30 and an hour or two to spare, this is it, you know? If you're like me who thinks that their clutch feels like a little too stiff, this can actually improve that. And if you're not ready to dump a whole lot of uh, moolah on a, an RJM pedal, this is a good substitute. I mean, I don't have any problems or issues with it yet so far. Number eight, hood dampers. Nobody thought about this because, you know, this is actually a good addition to your mod list, especially if you're doing a show build that you just want like 
it open halfway, you know, to, to just do a little, little sneaky sneak. <laughs> or you can do like just all the way if you're working on your bay. It's, it's a really good mod, honestly. It's close to $100, but hey. Number nine, Japanese Fair Lady Z emblem. If you're like a Fismo owner like me, and if you don't know what a Fismo is, it's fake Nismo. It's not a Nismo from the factory. You just added body kits to make it look like Nismo. Um, it's nothing wrong about that. I don't know why people are hating it. There are holes in your V2 Nismo uh, front bumper that you can either fill, which I did, or you can, you know, slap this on and be like, Psych, it's not a Nismo, it's just, it's Fair Lady Z and Kanji, and I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave the profile of the guy that's selling these in the description below. And last but not the least, and I know this is probably not a mod, this is not a mod, I mean it could be, because they have things like that. Zosiety or Z1 merch, you know, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with these two, I just thought that, hey, they, hey. They make Z merch specifically for Zs. That's it. <laughs> I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. You can share this to your friends, your family, your SO, special one. No, 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 no. significant other. I've always thought that SO is like special one. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. You can share this, this video to them and be like, hey, if you pick me for Secret Santa, this is it. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> and if you like this list or this video, leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there's a red button out there that's just sitting, waiting. I would appreciate it if you hit it and then click the bell too so you get notified when I'm going to be releasing new videos. You can follow me on Instagram at its.ericfenzen. And uh, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy, folks.